welterweight division, 170 pounds. One great thing about the welterweight division is you don't lose that speed and quick and technical aspect, but also you got some muscle behind that. Excuse me, you got some hustle behind that muscle. Sure. Come on. There you go. Absolutely. So it's right in the middle. <laughs> Marcus Smith hitting the last once over from referee Mike England. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is brought to you by Don's Barbershop, located on 23rd Street, next to Aldi's. Go get faded at Don's Barbershop. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with black trim. Introducing Alex Padaki. And standing okay, across the cage, fighting out of the red the corner, wearing the red right trunks, tonight. Marcus Smith. How beneficial is that that one fight and in the cage, whether Mike it's 30 seconds or nine minutes? The you know, that one fight is a little bit of a mixture of a huge deal and not a big deal at all. Okay. Um, you know, it gets you rid of those jitters of walking in the octagon for the first time barefoot. That can be a little weird. Taking your shirt off in public can be a little bit weird for the first time. So Who honestly, the two things he's now? used to is feeling that canvas floor in his bare feet and then being uh, half noise. in public. Other than that, we got an equal brawl here at Kansas City Love Fighting it. Alliance at 170 pounds. Here we here go. Here we go. Glove touch in the center. Padoki taking a shot early on here. Padoki makes Marcus miss with a big punch and takes a big shot. Marcus looking for a guillotine, but Padoki lands in side control. Phenomenal takedown by Padoki in the early seconds of this first round. Padoki is in side control, so Marcus is going to be wasting his energy here looking for this guillotine. I would say it's a possibility to finish this guillotine in side control, but coming from a camp like Padoki, these guys work on their jiu-jitsu. He's not going to tap to something like this in side control. Look for Padoki. Right now he's using his left arm to hand fight. Eventually he's going to use his left hand to put his forearm in his opponent's throat. Smith doing a good job of tying up Padoki's left arm so he can't uh, feed it to his throat for separation here. Padoki looks very relaxed here on top. Look to see if he can free his head and land some shots. Padoki is by no means in a comfortable situation right now, but he's definitely in not a threatful situation. Eventually, you're going to see Marcus let go of the head here, and Padoki's going to see what he can do from side control. Padoki's looking to use his right arm to control the legs of Marcus here. He's preparing for when that head pops out. What's next? Well, what's next is he's going to control the legs. At least that's what's on his mind. Good knees to the body. See if those knees can soften up Smith here. Padoki does the full mount. And that's the problem with holding on to that head and side control. It's not recess. This isn't a big brother headlock. This is mixed martial arts at Kansas City Fighting Alliance. And Padoki's raining shots here. Big shots from Alex Padoki. Boom, it's raining like a fall night, and it's over. Mike England stepping in. Huge TKO victory from Alex Padoki. And you were absolutely right. He was waiting to get that head free, and as soon as he did, he transitioned to mount and then to the back of Smith, and it was over from there. Well, and that's one of the benefits. Padoki has been in that situation several times in the gym. Coming from a gym like Broken Smile Fight Team, you know this guy on a Tuesday, on a Thursday, hell, on a Wednesday, he's had his head wrenched on from side control. He knows he's not in any kind of threat here. He's going to relax underneath the big lights, and he knows that once his head's free, he's going to move him out and finish, and he did exactly that. That's an advantage coming from a quality gym and not coming from a quality gym. I, I feel like we're, we're seeing a theme here in these, these early the early portion of these amateur fights on this card. It, you see a good exchange from, from both guys, and the guy who lands in dominant position uh, oftentimes in these early fights has the, has the ability to finish the fight rather quickly. 
it's, it's, yep. it can be over that quickly, I guess, is my point. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, having your head squeezed on in front of a lot of people is, is uncomfortable. I don't care who you are. But when you've had it done to you with guys that you respect on a daily basis, it makes it a lot easier. And that's a lot of times Ladies that and gentlemen, the bout. this bout ends at 1 minute and 50 seconds of round number one. Your winner by TKO via strikes out of the blue corner, Alex Pataki.